insieme per la vittoria! Silenzio, my friends! Silenzio! Grazie! Do you know what brings us here tonight? Honor! Viere de Pazzi slanders my family's name and forces his own miseries upon us. If we... Enough of your nonsense, Grullo! We were just talking about you. I'm surprised to see you here. I thought the Pazzi hired others to do their dirty work. It's your family that cries for guards when there's trouble, Godardo. Afraid to handle things yourself? Your sister seemed quite satisfied with the handling I gave her earlier. Uccidetelo! <laughs> <laughs> Baby brother had finally learned how to fight. Uh, and? <laughs> you have style. But endurance is what counts. Let's see how many of them you can ruin before they get the best of you. Hold on. What? You almost won this. Your lip. Just a scratch. Let the doctor decide. It's not necessary. Besides, I have no money for this doctor of yours. <laughs> wasted it on women and wine, huh? I'd hardly call it wasted. Give me some floorings then. Or have you done the same? <laughs> <laughs> Search them. <laughs> There's bound to be something in my pockets.
Va bene. That should be enough. Let's get out of here before the guards arrive. Hurry, Ezio. The sooner we're done with the doctor, the sooner we can sleep. Trovato, doctor. Mm, fratelli auditori, why am I not surprised? You've made quite a mess of yourself, young man. It's nothing, really. You must help him. That pretty face is his only asset. Forty day. <laughs> there we are. Now get out of here. Grazie. This way. Quite a night. Indeed. I only wish they were all as much fun. Oh, wait. They are. <laughs> <laughs> we should head home, Ezio. Father's sure to be wondering where we've gone. Yes. I'd rather avoid a lecture. Up for a little race, then? To where? Uh, roof of that church. On the count of three. Uno, due, tre. <laughs> Baby brother still has much to learn. <laughs> I almost feel bad about this. Oh, no shame and failure, brother. Come on, then. This way. Where are you going? You'll see. It is a good life we lead, brother. <sighs> the best. May it never change. And may it never change us. Should head home. Let's go. Wait. What? Ezio, let Christina sleep. There will be time enough for that later. Ah. Uh. May I come in? Fine, but only for a minute. A minute is all I need. Indeed. Well, wait. Uh, that came out wrong. Come here. Oh, oh it's you. Oh, it's 
do. Christina! Christina! Belia! Your tutor will be here soon. Come, my daughter. Is it really so terrible that... Figlio d'un cane! What is this? Perdonate, messere! Chiedo venia! I'll kill you! No, no. That's not necessary. Guards! Guards! Voglio la sua testa! Take him down! Damn it. There's really no need for violence. Oh, You have me confused with someone else. I see you. She needed some help with some things. I'm mostly innocent. Would you rather be roasted? Good morning, Father. Come with me. Is something wrong? Do you think me blind and deaf, son? I know all about your fight with Vieri di Pazzi last night. And then this little visit to Christina. Your behavior is unacceptable. It... It... It reminds me of myself when I was your age. I assume these misadventures won't interfere with your work today. No, Padre. Avete la mia parola. I've prepared some documents here for Lorenzo di Medici to review. I need them delivered to him. With haste, Father. Return to me when it's done.
Ah, Ezio, ben trovato. How are you? Come sempre. I have a letter for Messer Lorenzo. I'll see that he receives it when he returns. Returns? They've gone to Villa Careggi, I'm afraid. And not expected back for at least another day. I'll let my father know. Keep up the good work. Bischero. <laughs> you worry too much. Ah. Hello, son. You remember my friend Uber? Good morning, Gonfaloniere Alberti. To you as well, young man. I trust you delivered the message. Si, padre. But it seems Lorenzo is out of town. Hmm. I did not anticipate this. What does it matter? So you wait another day or two. Listen, your mother and sister have been looking for you. I'll need you again in a little while, but for now, see if you can't help them. Are you sure? Yes, now if you'll excuse us. Good to see you, Ezio. Buongiorno, Ezio. Buongiorno a voi, madre. Come state? Sto bene. And you? Still recovering from last night? I have no idea what you're talking about. Of course not. Anyway, I have an errand to run. I'd like you to join me. Con piacere. Come. It's not far from here. I know about your fight with Vieri. What fight? Per piacere. Let's not play this game. He spoke ill of us. I could not allow him to continue. I'm sure he's having a hard time dealing with the accusations against his father. Francesco di Pazzi is many things, and none of them good. But even I never suspected he'd be capable of murder. What happened to him? I imagine there will be a trial. Will father speak at it? He'll have to. He's the one with the evidence. Still, I wish there was another way. You've nothing to fear. Everyone wants justice done. It is an unfortunate state of affairs, but it will pass. Hello, Leonardo. Madonna Maria. This is my son, Ezio. Molto honorato. L'onore è mio. Let me go and fetch the paintings. I'll be right back. He's very talented. Imagino. Self-expression is vital to understanding and enjoying life. You should find an outlet. I have plenty of outlets. I meant besides vaginas. 
Mother. Back to your house, then. Si, si. Ezio, help Leonardo, will you? So, Ezio, what do you do? He's been working for his father. Ah, you're to be a banker. For now. And you, aren't, was it? Truth be told, it's been difficult for me to settle. Painting is nice, but I often feel like my work lacks, I don't know, a purpose. Does that make sense? I'd rather contribute more practically, more directly. Architecture, perhaps, or anatomy. I'm not content merely to capture the world. I want to change it. Oh, Leonardo. I have no doubt you'll go on to do great things. Vi ringrazio, Madonna. That's kind of you. Thank you for your help, son. Don't let me keep you from your other duties. It was nice to meet you, Ezio. I hope our paths cross again. Anch'io. Ezio! What are you doing out here, Petruccio? You should be in bed. I want those feathers. What for? It's a secret. If I get them for you, will you go back inside? Yes, I promise. Here, as promised. Grazie, brother. You still haven't told me why you want these. I will, in time. Claudia, how are you? Bene. You shouldn't keep things from me. It's Duccio. What of him? I think he's been unfaithful. Who told you this? The other girls. I thought they were my friends. Harpies. You're better off without them. I loved him. No, Claudia. You only thought you did. He should suffer for what he's done. Wait here. I'll go have a word with him.
I seen that man? That man looks awfully familiar. It's a beautiful... Nothing but the best for you, amore mio. But what of Claudia? I thought you'd been promised to her. Her father said I could do much better than an auditore. Ah! Oh, Birbante! Come, let us walk a bit. What? I had something <laughs> else in mind. Oh, Duccio. Mm. Mm. Glory do Porco! Ezio, my friend! Ah! Ma che te piglia! You insult my sister, parading around with his puttana. W what are you talking about? I saw the gift you gave her, or the things you said. Maybe your sister shouldn't be so stingy with her virtue. You broke her heart. Ha! <laughs> and now I'm going to break your face. You auditore is all talking, but when it comes time for action, ha! You regret ever opening your mouth. I could have taught your sister a great many things. She's lucky to have had someone like me. Bastardo! Basta! Mi arrendo! Stay away from my sister! Ezio, come in, son. I need these packages delivered to associates of mine in the city. I also need you to retrieve a message for me from a pigeon coop not too far from here. Va bene. I'll get it done. Come back here when you're finished. There are some things we need to discuss. And please, my son, stay out of trouble. Hmm? Giovanni's kid? No, idiota. He just happens to look exactly like the man. Give it here. Don't worry, boy. We're not contagious. At least I'm not.
Here, over here. Uh. I have a delivery from Giovanni Aratore? Yes. Were you followed? No. Why would I be followed? Give me the package. Tell your father that they're moving tonight. He should as well. Who's moving? What's going on here? Wait, come back. Explain yourself. Father? Federico! <gasps> Sir Ezio! Thank God! What happened? Where is everyone? They took your father and brothers to the Palazzo della Signoria. To prison. And my mother. My sister. Ezio. Claudia. Are you alright? Yes, but mother... She's in shock. They... when she resisted. It's not safe here. Is there some place you can take them? Yes, yes! To my sisters. Good, do that. In the meantime, I'll go see my father. Be careful, Messer Ezio. The guards were looking for you as well. You a funny monkey. Assaggiate i miei saccati!
Ezio. Father, what's happened? Took a bit of a beating, but I'm all right. What of your mother and sister? Safe now. Aneta took them. Yes. Wait. You knew this would happen? Not the way it did, and not this soon. Doesn't matter now. What do you mean? Explain! There is no time. Listen closely. Return to the house. In my office is a hidden door. Use your talent to find it. Beyond lies a chest. Take everything you find inside. Much of it may seem strange to you, but all of it is important. Do you understand? Yes. Good. Among the contents is a letter, and with it some documents. I need you to take these documents to Mr. Roberto. He was with me in the office this morning. The Gonfalonieri, I remember. Now please, tell me what's happening. Are the Pazzi behind this? There was a note for you at the building. It said, go, Ezio. Go now. <laughs> said there was a door here. Bring this to Messer Roberto. Traditore! Hey, what's with the swords? Aren't you supposed to arrest me? No. Hey, what do you want then? For you to die! Well, that's not going to happen. So why don't we explore other options? There are no other options! Yo! 
Has his mind snapped? It's your auditory. What are you doing here at this hour? It... I, I don't... Wait, child. Take a breath. Collect your thoughts. My father and brothers have been imprisoned. I was told to bring you this. Ah. Uh. I see now. It's a misunderstanding, Ezio. I'll clear everything up. How? The documents you've given me contain evidence of a conspiracy against your family and against the city. I'll present these papers at their hearing in the morning, and they'll be released. Thank you, Signore. Of course, my child. Do you need a place to stay? You're more than welcome here. No, grazie. I'll meet you at the piazza. Don't worry, Ezio. Everything is going to be fine. Farewell and swift recovery, amigo. stand accused of the crime of treason. Have you any evidence to counter this charge? Yes, the documents that were delivered to you last night. I'm afraid I know nothing of these documents. He's lying! You need to get closer. In the absence 
absence of any compelling evidence to the contrary, I am bound to pronounce you killed. You and your collaborators are hereby sentenced to death. You are a traitor, Umberto, and one of them. You may take our lives this day, but we will have yours in return, I swear! We will! Come on! Hey! Grab the boy! He's one of them! I'll kill you for what you've done! Move! I see him! There! 